What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, the support has been unbelievable. It's been phenomenal. We gained 37 subs yesterday. Thank you to all that just comes and just drops likes, comments. Let's do it again. 10K in the comments. 80 likes on this one. I know we're going to do it. Market Talk Tuesday has been hot. Let's do it, baby. This one's going to be a little late. I woke up hella late today. Guys, we're 14 stars away from the, the third inning program. Guys, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to have a video out for you today on it, how I did it the fastest. But anyways, guys, 10K in the comments. Like the vid. So if you're new, all you got to do to qualify the giveaway is drop 10K in the comments and like the vid. But anyways, guys, let's get this one to 80 likes. I believe, yo, I, my channel has been on fire. We're literally on pace to hit 1,000 subs in like three three weeks to a month. And it's actually crazy. Let's hit 1,000, bro. That's where we give away some stuff, man. 1,000 is the move. All right, guys. Anyways, let's get into the video. Bro, the auction is starting to die down. The stub sale is gone. If you guys haven't realized, everything went down a lot. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So, Vlad was 140 yesterday in my video. is 130. Uh, Bumgarner and them were 54 yesterday. They're at 49. Everybody dropped a couple K diamond-wise. So... We're gonna just, this is like a vid, okay, also, if you guys don't know the series, we just talk about the auction, like, what's gonna go down, what I think you should do, all that good stuff, it's just a little market talk video, so, yeah, Miguel Cabrera, honestly, I think the way they're trending is looking down, honestly, all these cars are looking down, like, it's looking like everybody's going back to their OG price, like, Scherzer's back down a lot, so, like, pretty much... Everybody's really back to their OG price besides the guys that upgraded. So let me just look at Yelich. I'm going to tell you what I think about Yelich right now. I'm pretty sure Yelich went down a lot too. Yeah, so Yelich is at 55k sell. So if you guys listen to me, when I said sell all your diamonds yesterday because they were mad expensive, you're lit because you made mad stubs and they're cheaper now. You can buy them all back and make a ton of stubs. But yeah, uh, we got Josh Hader. He's still at 30k. There's a bunch of players that are still expensive. Uh, we got... Let's see. Kershaw's at 21 still. You're gonna see everyone dropped a little tiny bit. Machado dropped a little bit. Diaz is about the same. Baez is about the same. Pretty much everything dropped a little bit. Honestly, I think they're gonna keep dropping. And especially if they drop headliners on Friday. Everybody's gonna drop... So what I'm recommending you guys to do, I would honestly sell your diamonds now, have your stubs ready. That's what I would just do because realistically, none of them are going to go up. They're just going to go down. And if you see Andrew Miller at like 22K, I would say pick him up. His edge is down today. He was at like 30 something yesterday. That's a good time to pick him up. If you see anybody's edges down, just go snag them right now. We got Chris Bryant at 27k. Damn. He should go up, bro. All right, so let's go over this. Ready? Let's go over some investments as well. So what I noticed, bro, yesterday I put on my I turn on my phone and I see Okuna. Two home runs and two doubles. What happened to his price? It went up another thousand. I have six of them. I got them for 4k, bro. Think about that. So Okuna's been slaying the game. Okuna's looking like he's finally gonna get an upgrade. I pray to God, but that's in two weeks. Hopefully he keeps it up. Bro, Trey Turner also, if you guys are watching this vid now, yo, Trey Turner's back. This is probably your best investment time to get him. Like, I have none of him. I'm going to try to get him right now. Bro, Trey Turner's back. I thought he was going to be back in like eight weeks. He came back early, and he's doing pretty decent. If he turns diamond, we're all lit. At 2K, this is the time to pick up 10 of him, bro. So drop 20k stubs if you pick 10 of them he goes to like 8 10k you make a ton of stubs this is the best time to get them but also guys what i'm noticing is that like most of the golds are like the same price nothing really happened to their prices some of them went down a little bit but honestly right now is like the best time to invest and especially on friday is gonna be a better time to invest but who knows what content they're dropping friday the market may not crash nobody knows now bro mlb has been weird like this week they dropped a stub sale out of left field, bro. Who knew a stub sale was coming out? The auction was all screwed up, and I was pissed off, bro. So that screwed up a lot of things. We got Trevor freaking Story. Great investment, bro. He's buying like 280. 
I'm gonna pick up more. I have 13. When all these guys go as diamonds, it's over. It's over. I'm gonna make a ton of stubs. Ozuna's literally gonna go diamond. I'm not even kidding. His stats are still low. He deserves 85 all around. I'm not even kidding. But let, let's go. Let's just look at some diamonds. So, okay. The other day, Garrett Cole was at 23k. He's back down to 12. And honestly, you guys, if you listen to me, if you seriously listen to me and said what I like, I made a video. I think it was Sunday about the market overview. Bro, Sunday, I told everybody to sell their diamonds. Bro, I hope you guys listen. Because if you sold your diamonds, you've made so much money. On that day, Garrett Cole is sitting at 18K, bro. He's at 12, 11. Like, bro, it's a no brainer. Let's just keep looking, though. We got uh justin verlander is so expensive honestly a lot of the diamonds are still kind of expensive like i would sell machado i would sell diaz i would sell verlander like they're they went down a little bit but they're still mad expensive because there's nothing in the all like everyone popped the headliner packs no one's pulling diamonds right now the diamond pulls are dry like there's probably like one kid pulling diamonds every hour or something like there's just this is just the best time to sell friday is gonna be a huge day to buy as per usual like unless they drop some whack crap they better just keep it like this bro and let's see if you're a bellinger a 14-3 bro get rid of him and also i made a bunch of stubs if you guys got that reggie jackson or Morrow from the third the third inning collection go ahead and sell them before they drop to 6k like the other buddy the other ones we got strasburg we got jd martinez at 24k chris bryant 27k Honestly, bro, if Chris Bryant gets another edge down, he's going to go back down to 18K. I'm thinking about selling mine, and honestly, bro, I'm not even going to make stubs off him. I'm going to lose, like, 1K. But honestly, I think it's the best bet. I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I just don't trust his price, bro. He's been having mad inside, of, and it's sold already. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I just took a little L. Back. I lost 1K stubs, but honestly, I think it's the best move, bro. And this freaking bird is actually being annoying, bro. Shut up, bird. But there's a bird chirping my window. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see. Let's go over to some silver investments. Just check them out. Before I... Actually, no, no. Guys, if you didn't pick up Blackman, go ahead and do it. Why is this bird still chirping, bro? Are you serious, bro? All right. Charlie Blackman. His power is just... The, the fact that they give him 58 versus lefties and 73 versus righty, it's just absurd. His contact should be 110. I'm not even kidding. The way he's been playing, bro. His speed should go up. Reaction should go up. His fielding should go up. Just go pick up the car. I have 16 of them. That's all I have to say. Juan Soto has been playing like actual trash. Hopefully just better. He's been injured a lot, though. Let's see. So honestly, guys, what I recommend you to do, an overview of what I say. So right now, I would say sell your diamonds, keep your investments, and just wait. Just wait till, like, just, you have to wait right now. This is the best time to just wait and see what gold cards go to, silver cards go to. Let's look at some bronzies and silvers. Let's see what we got. We got JJ Reddick. Word on the street, JJ Reddick's back 320. Shout out to my boy, David. Um... Bro, David V. I don't know how to say his name, but he's one of my subs. And, bro, I forgot about JJ Redick. I picked him up in fantasy. He's been slaying the game. I did not mention him in my bunch of video. I would go pick him up before he turns gold. He's looking like a gold beast. Uh, Kyle Hendricks, bro. He's still mad cheap. I have three. I'm going to try to get more. He's going to be gold this year. I'm almost positive. If he goes gold, I'm making a ton of stubs of all of them, bro. A couple more gems, and I think he's guaranteed gold. Chris Pack's going to be gold, bro. This guy's in freaking unbelievable. He pitched another gem yesterday, but he's a little too expensive. We got... Let's see. So let's go to Dozier. This might be a good time to invest in a bunch of bronzes and silvers. Let's see. Yeah, dude. Hunter Dozier at 85 stubs, bro. I have 34. Go pick him up. This kid has 28. He knows what's popping. It might be one of my subs, bro. I'm not even kidding. At 28, bro, this kid knows what he's doing. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. There's 10s, there's 4s, there's 3s, quantity-wise. Guys, this is a time to buy investments, like bronze, silver-wise. You're not going to get a better time to do this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just be sure to sell your diamonds. 
get gold silvers and bronzes that's all i can really tell you in this market the market is so whack and guys i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more market ideas more market overviews and all that good stuff and guys that's all i got peace hey, yo,